Okay, so I started my first channel back in 2014. Back then it was just a channel to promote my beats. That's where I shared all my beats too. Uh, I know they weren't the greatest beats, but back then I was posting about two videos a week, two beats a week on my channel. Then I started posting my PlayStation 3 content for Black Ops 2, I believe. You used to be able to go on Black Ops 2, make your video, and then share it onto your YouTube channel. So that's where I really started my gaming, was on Black Ops 2, because you used to be able to share it here on YouTube. And it honestly was not paying off. I wasn't getting any views, I wasn't getting any subscribers, it wasn't working out for me. Then out of the blue, about four months, four, maybe five months after I started my channel, I started to get views out of nowhere. And because I was so new to YouTube, I thought it was normal and it actually wasn't. And I'm talking about 800 views here, 1,000 views there, 1,500 views here. And to me, I thought that was normal, but it really wasn't because my content was garbage. It wasn't the greatest. Back when I started my channel, I used it to try to make money. That was my thought whenever I started my channel. Because back then, you could get ads on your channel right away. There was no rules. There was nothing that stopped you. So I was putting ads on my channel. Then whenever I started to get all these big numbered views on my videos, I wasn't really curious. I didn't really know what was happening. But I did like some of the money that was coming onto my channel. So I didn't think too much of it. Then all of a sudden... My ads stopped, it was just for a month, and YouTube basically sent me an email saying, stop what you're doing right now or you are gonna be banned. I didn't do anything wrong, I wasn't doing anything, I don't know how I was getting these views, I thought all of a sudden I got noticed, so because they're saying to change or I'll be banned, I didn't know what to change, so I didn't change anything, then all of a sudden advertising got banned from my channel, where I would never ever be allowed to get it back on, so that really killed my momentum. I didn't really know how my videos, I didn't even know about paid promotion back then. So I didn't do any paid promotion. I didn't do any of that stuff because I didn't know how it worked. And I didn't even know that was a thing back then. So I kind of stopped my channel uh, for about eight months. Um, I think after it happened, I actually tried to create another channel and I think I just titled it Takedown. And within a week, because it was the same name as my other channel and with the same email, they canceled both out. So I didn't really know what to do and I thought, I'm done with YouTube for a while. I didn't even think I'd pick it back up. I am glad I did now, but um, I did stop YouTube for about eight or nine months. And then I started picking it back up on my PlayStation 4 with other games. I started a new channel. Back then it was Mafia Gaming uh, TD9955. I know, once again, not the greatest name for a channel, but that's what I started my channel with whenever I rebooted it. Uh, this was about... September 2016 something like that so it was about almost two years ago now and I was back then posting anything and everything I could find anything Call of Duty GTA any game I was playing I'd make little clips and I'd share it here on YouTube with the intention of getting a lot of views getting noticed and all this stuff and it honestly was not working out for me so I kept doing that for months then I started to slow down, then I started to post on events like 4th of July, uh, St. Patrick's Day, holidays like that, trying to get views. Wasn't working out, I started to do WWE predictions, so I'd make the matches and that was kind of getting the views back then. I had one almost hit a thousand views, um, but it, honestly it stopped working out for me. I started to do a gaming series for Fallout 4. That eventually started to cave, it honestly started to cave just a couple months ago actually, so that to me is the best thing I did on my channel so far. It just started to die out a couple months ago for me, so that is what it is, but it was about September or October 2017 that I rebranded my channel. I started to make videos like this. Back then it was just on my fourth gen iPod, so it wasn't the greatest quality. I was recording my audio separate on my laptop because my iPod wasn't able to pick up the audio very well. And that was really whenever I started to take YouTube serious. I really tried to put my videos together, started making videos like this, doing other stuff. That's when I started with hockey card videos. That's whenever I started other types of videos. I didn't really know where I wanted my channel to go. I didn't really know what kind of videos I wanted to do here. I just knew I wanted to make videos for an audience. Even if I don't get very many views, I just wanted to get my face out there more. I wanted to start doing other types of videos. I wanted to share my life with people and I'm really, really glad I did. Over the course of eight months after rebranding my channel, I am here today. I'm really happy with what I'm doing now. 
I am almost at 100 subscribers. At the moment, I am about four subs away from making that possible. Honestly, if I kept doing what I did back even nine months ago, I wouldn't be where I am now because nine months ago, I only had 20 subs and that actually sat at 20 subs for over a year. Since rebranding, I've gained almost 80 subs and to me, that is amazing. I know it's not a high number, but at least I'm starting to see growth. I'm starting to engage with more YouTubers. I'm starting to watch more YouTubers. More YouTubers are starting to notice me, are starting to comment on my videos, like my videos, watch my stuff, and I'm actually engaging with more people as well. I like now that I'm doing unboxing videos, taste test videos. I'm trying to give vlogs once in a while so you guys get to see more in the life of Takedown. I'm glad that I can still do some gaming videos once in a while and do all my other types of videos for you guys, especially these talking ones because they really get a more of a one-on-one -on -one feeling with whoever's watching. So I'm really happy with where I'm going here on YouTube. I'm happy with the road that I took to get here. If it wasn't for me rebranding, I wouldn't be here where I am right now. So I'm really happy back then I made the decision I did. I know some of my friends at the time that were in my channel back then when I was strictly a gaming channel didn't necessarily agree with my decision to rebrand, but I know I'm not the biggest YouTuber. I know I don't have the most subs, but I'm at least trying my best. YouTube has actually helped me out so much. It is one of my favorite hobbies right now outside of gaming because I honestly game all the time. So if you guys want to know more of why I make YouTube videos, comment that down below. Why I really started to grow and want to make this work, even if it's just a hobby for myself and not to make money, if it's just to me to get to know people and to have people get to know me, I'm going to explain that in a future video if that's something you guys want to see. But in the future, I'm hoping to still grow. I'm hoping to get more ideas for different types of videos. If you guys have any ideas for videos you guys would like to see me do, comment that down below as well. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.